The coronavirus crisis is having a major impact on millions of HIV patients who are reliant on life-saving drugs. It's estimated that nearly 40 million people across the world are living with HIV. Although there is no cure for the disease that causes AIDS, antiretroviral medication helps control it. But the COVID-19 pandemic is interrupting drug supply lines. The UN has warned that long-term disruption could result in an additional half a million deaths. Tembi would have preferred not to come to the clinic today because of the coronavirus and to avoid questions from neighbors. Tembi is not her real name. She prefers to remain anonymous. Are you ready? She is HIV positive and wants to make sure her one-year-old daughter does not become infected. My family knows. And your friends? <laughs> no. <laughs> because they like to gossip. So people, they judge you. It's wrong. It's not right because you don't know your future, what will happen to you after all. So you don't need to judge person. One in five mothers in Kayelicha Township is HIV positive. A few years ago, two out of every five children also had the virus. But now the chances of HIV being passed on at birth are less than 5%. South Africa has made significant progress in the fight against HIV. The government pays for the medicines, and aid agencies like Doctors Without Borders help with education programs. In normal times, a group of mothers with HIV meet here once a month, but the corona crisis means the meetings have been cancelled. Our mothers do gain a lot from the group sessions, discussing with peers and uh, having also time to discuss with the facilitators and things like that. So now that the group sessions are not uh, happening anymore, it, uh, it has really affected postnatal clubs. The medics now counsel the mothers on a one-to-one -one basis. HIV is still a serious problem here. The hospital is much emptier than usual. Because of COVID-19, many patients avoid hospitals and therefore don't have access to their medication. Experts believe that this could have a strong negative impact on HIV AIDS, but also tuberculosis patients in the future. Tembi knows her medication significantly increases her own life expectancy. Her hope is that in the future, HIV and corona will no longer be a danger to her daughter. Joining me now is Professor Hendrik Streeck, Director of the Institute of Virology and HIV Research at the University of Bonn. Professor, we saw in that report just now how HIV patients are avoiding going to hospitals to get medication and treatment because of fear of the coronavirus. How serious is this problem? Well, the difference basically between COVID-19 and HIV is that when HIV patients do not get their medication, it's a deadly disease and almost 100% can die from HIV when they are infected. Now we were at the state where um, we can control the infection that well that people can uh, have a normal life expectancy. But now lacking those medication in some countries just due to um, um, uh, the transportation chains, this is a very serious problem. And the WHO and UNAIDS estimates that about half a million additional AIDS deaths we will face this year because of the COVID-19 crisis. Okay, just to distinguish between these things, there are some people who are reluctant to go to the hospital to get their treatment for HIV AIDS because of fear of contracting COVID-19. But the UN is talking about a different problem, that just supply chain disruptions of antiviral drugs to treat HIV patients. How serious could the impact of that be? Well, the UNAIDS and WHO can only estimate, but they are estimating half a million additional deaths due to uh, a lack of supplies. Um, the, the issue is with HIV is that you have to take the medication every day. And uh, if you do not have medication, for example, for months or, uh, or even a week, you might develop resistance against the medication and then it won't work anymore. Cool. Okay, now, aside from working on HIV, you are also trying to fight COVID-19. Are there parallels between these viruses, maybe some lessons learned from combating HIV AIDS that can be applied to the coronavirus? Well, I think many of the HIV researchers and physicians are now working on COVID-19 um, because 
it is um, working on HIV is working during a pandemic. The HIV pandemic is not over. And now we are facing an additional pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. So um, we have a lot of experience how to handle research during such a time and ask the questions what are actually most important to ask during a pandemic. Um, at the same mm. time, the viruses are very different. While both of them are RNA viruses, so have a similar nucleic acid structure, they are completely different. And it's probably more likely that we have a vaccine against COVID-19 earlier than against HIV. Should we really be so confident, Professor, that we can roll out a coronavirus vaccine within a matter of months, given how difficult it's been with other diseases like HIV AIDS? No, I, I, I don't think we can be confident that we will have a vaccine. Um, in fact, coming from the HIV world, um, we know that it's very hard to find a vaccine against most of the uh, big infectious disease killers. Like for example, also tuberculosis, malaria or dengue, we do not have a vaccine. However, the structure of the coronavirus is different compared to HIV. And there are some um, features of the virus that may might make us think or make us believe that that there is that it might be easier to find a va uh, vaccine against this coronavirus. But at the end, this needs to be tested, and it's very hard to predict. Professor, thank you very much for your insights. That was Professor Hendrik Streeck from the University of Bonn. Thank you.